Hey everybody, Sid Survival Guide here. Today, I'm bringing you a fire piston kit. You can take a look at the instructions. And if you wanna pause it so you can read them. Right now, I'm gonna break this thing out and I'm gonna show you guys what I've learned so far using it and how well it works out. It all comes with everything you need. This box itself can be used to make char cloth. It comes with char cloth. It comes with a bag of jute, J jute, whatever. You have your piston, unscrews from the top in case you want to clean it. Piston pulls out, has two rubber seals, and it looks a little dirty because I've already been practicing trying to get this down and there is a little space here for char cloth. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna lay the char cloth on this, grease up your grommets, and you're gonna compress the air to create a coal, an ember with this char cloth. Use the bird's nest type structure with the jute. It also comes with lubricant for the grommets more grommets and more cloth to make char cloth out of. I personally have some char cloth I made out of socks and it's very brittle. This, I'm assuming is the same as this and I really like this, it creates a very good ember. So, got some small sticks, we're gonna have a small fire and show you guys how this works. I'm a wonderful construction worker. You should see my shelters that I built in my head. I tell you what though, somebody's impressed me with old Corporal's Corner. Yeah? Yeah, he's got some crazy good builds. It starts to burn real good. Let me set that on it. Pause it. Okay guys, the first thing I'm gonna do is get out a small strip of char cloth here. This char cloth is super thick compared to some old socks which is really good. The old socks work, but I'm not sure if they would work as well for this. Oh. It's a good thing you gotta keep it clean. Tear me off a couple strip black pieces. I'm gonna take this, which I'm not exactly sure what kind of lubricant this is, but I'm assuming that any kind of like Automa automotive or lithium grease or anything would probably serve just because of the fact of all this is doing is creating a seal so the air does not get out all right now that i got that ready this is the first time i've ever used anything like this so i am super curious when i practiced i did not practice with this this looks like some some old lady hair or something how much do you think i should use just yeah. a little bit. You're not making a big fire or nothing. You know? I'll use that. That's weird. Crazy. You don't feel it? Okay. I built a little bird's nest. Kind of pull it apart. Make it all super frilly. And then I'll do this. Because I'm not making a very big fire, I'll do like that. So I'm gonna leave it right there. And I've got this ready to go, and then this, and that. All right, now, I'm gonna take these pieces of char cloth, and I'm gonna try to lay some over each other. It says not to shove it in the hole too much, but it's very hard not to. And I will say 
It is incredibly difficult to do this with this. I'm going to do this to demonstrate it, but I've already used it several times and this hurts. After five or six times of not knowing what you're doing. So now I'm gonna take this, slide it over carefully and force it down as hard as I can. Okay, epic fail. That's okay though, because this is a, a try a couple times thing, has been. Okay, we're gonna put some more char cloth in here. I almost felt like I might not have had enough seal. So I'm also gonna add just a little bit more lubricant. The, the force it took to push that thing all the way down didn't seem as great. But it did leave an impression in the ground as you can see. And it could have been that. It could have been that right there. So worst case scenario, I might have to find something to set this on, a piece of wood or something. You try to do it on your knee, you'd break your leg. Okay. Oh, look. Wasn't tight. Top wasn't tight. See how easy it is to, to not do it right? Doesn't smell burnt or nothing. Get this screwed back on. We'll try again. All right, so I'm gonna use this little tiny stick here to get this out when it does do it. It smell like it's, huh? Not smell like it. Uh -uh. Trial and error. Try again. It smells like a little bit of heat. Yeah. Steady wins the race, babe.
Well, the crap. I be danged. That was awful. You got it, babe. Oh, it was, I mean, it's wonderful. I got it. It's just the process is so vicious. Well, or, do you feel like in survival you would be more attentive to? Well, in survival, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt to find some kind of lubricant because that little tiny thing is not going to be enough. Overall, the product is amazing because of the concept and the design. Yeah, because I mean, technically, if you were out and you found some pieces of scrap metal or something, you could possibly make this. Yeah, you could. If you, know? if you found something, any kind of cylinder, and you could apply some grommets to it, there's a possibility that you could do this. The possibility of starting a fire in several other ways, you know, the same, but... Yeah. It just took more effort than... I imagined when I when I got the product. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't think it was going to take such a forceful go. This is the American Heritage Fire Piston. It's an Amazon special. All right, guys, as much as my intentions were to start a fire, the greater intentions was to get the char cloth lit with compressed air. I think that's really cool. If you guys think it's cool, you're more than welcome to check it out. I'll have a link in the description below for it's an Amazon affiliate link. If, if you do end up getting something like it or something off of Amazon and you go through one of my affiliate links, it always does help the channel. Either that or you can check out Patreon. We've got one of those. It's in the description in the link below. And uh, beautiful day. Beautiful day. Look. Trying to bring it to life. This wasn't uh, how to build a fire. It's how to start one. <laughs> Sid Survival Guide, signing out.